Hello and welcome to Model Airplane Maker. In this episode we'll be washing panel lines using MIG Ammo Panel Line Wash. Very easy to use and cleans up nicely. So grab your double O brushes and some Q-tips and let's go. There are many ways to go about highlighting or detailing the panel lines in a model. In this video, I'm gonna go over what I use now, which is the MIG Ammo panel line washes. And just as a quick note, I am definitely not sponsored by them. I just really like these products. I use about a size double O brush when I apply it and I absolutely love this stuff. It comes in many colors, extremely easy to use, and the best part is that it is pretty much foolproof when it comes to cleaning up, which I'll get to at the end of the video. And over the years, I've tried many ways of, of highlighting panels. Um, I've made pastel washes, I've used flory wash, I've made my own oil washes. I even tried this thing called a sludge wash, but when I found this new MIG ammo stuff, I, uh, I converted. It was, uh, it was definitely a, a great uh, discovery. And as you can see here, it just um, goes on. You shake the bottle, you dip the brush, and all of a sudden you're, you're right at the races in terms of applying this wash to the panel lines. These panel line washes by MIG Ammo come in a lot of different colors. And that is another advantage to them. You'll notice that the finish on this Zero is a light gray. So I chose a dark gray panel line wash so that I could detail the panel lines but not have a stark wash that is uh, almost toy-like in appearance or makes the panel lines look extremely large. With this um, darker gray, it is a more subtle effect, which I prefer when I make these aircraft. If the color was, say, a white, so say underneath, under, under some aircraft, the, the finish is white, I wouldn't go with this dark gray, I'd go with a light gray. And if the, the top color was, say, a dark green, I would go for a brown or even a, a, a darker green. And all of those colors are available in, the pen, in this panel line wash series. So as you can see, while I've been describing these washes, I'm just touching the tip of the brush right at the panel line and I'm letting the wash do all of the work in terms of uh, capillary action to get into all of the panel lines pretty much on its own. Now every now and then I'm going to leave a big spot of, of wash on the surface and you'll see in a moment that that doesn't really matter because I've glossed the surface and this product is great. It gives you uh, a long time for it to uh, work itself in, dry up, and it seems that within 30 minutes you can just wipe it off. All that big blob on the surface just wipes up and you won't see it. And all you're left with is the wash right in the, uh, the panel lines. If the surface of your model isn't gloss and it's uh, flat or semi-gloss, you won't have that nice cleanup at the end because of the surface texture. And maybe that's an effect you might be looking for. But for this demonstration, it, uh, you'll see that with a gloss surface, the, the stuff just wipes up extremely quickly. So here I'm just going section by section stabbing that panel line wash into all the lines. When I'm done, the bottle recommends to wait, I believe, 30 minutes before cleanup. But I've let it go a little longer. I've let it go usually about 45 minutes. 
And the reason is that there's some sort of, I don't know, chemical in this that um, when it's dry, it just wipes up a lot easier. So you have a long time to, uh, to work with it. You get to that point where it's dry on the surface and then you just wipe it up. It's been about 45 minutes. The blobs, if you will, are dry on the surface of the model and this is where the magic happens. Taking a cotton swab, I just wipe up the, 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 the blobs, the dried out blobs on the surface. And if you'll notice, the panel line wash behaves and stays in those panel lines. And that's it. This is a, a almost foolproof product and uh, just a pleasure to work with. And as this uh, panel line wash dries, it fades a bit. So it looks a little stark when you first put it on the model, but as it dries, it becomes less stark and it gives you a much more subtle finish. I should just say, last thing, that this Q-tip or cotton swab doesn't have any thinner on it. It's just, it's dry. So I'm just wiping up the excess. It might take you a couple of, of rounds, but you'll get it all off very quickly. So there you have it. That's the AK wash. Extremely easy to use, extremely convenient, but I think the best part is the cleanup and uh, how, how flawless it is. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it and you think others might, please uh, subscribe. And thanks again. Bye-bye.